Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, third round of Blitz Pit 8. We're in the losers bracket and we've got two absolute streaming heavyweights. Uh, we've got Kefu... Fo... Kefu... Whatever, whatever his name is. Um, versus Rick Reckless. I'm Jimmy Fantastic. With me is Skuro Metzo. Hello. A absolutely. How we doing? And you say heavyweights. I say super heavyweights. Even though Rick is like a buck twenty soaking wet, <laughs> these two guys are probably, you know, one of them best known for the quality of Blood Bowl. One of them best known for the quality of entertainment. And uh, we've got them butting heads here. Rick coming in with the underdog team, according to most people, Kislev, but the dice can mix it up for this team. They can get anything going at any time. Should be a wild one. And again, this is loser's bracket. They both lost a round one game, so the loser of this is out of the tournament and will not be winning a little chunk of that $1,000 Blitz Pit prize. Glorious, glorious intro. Thank you, Skuro. Yeah, the the you know I think I think you know it's not un, it's not unfair to say that everybody would think K Fog is a better co coach than Rick, but um, you know Rick isn't terrible, is he? You know, like I'm not, that's not saying that Rick's terrible because K Fog's like pretty much one of the best, if not the best, in the world. So it's not it's not an insult at all. Um, but you know they're very high variance, aren't the Kislev? So this is a good team to like take you know against against. Kfog really like you know it's it's high variance so it, it's going to give not just Rick it's going to give most people their best shot of being Kfog really <laughs> yeah absolutely I mean Rick is uh, Rick's got that je ne sais quoi you know that <laughs> that 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 undefined thing that helps him just uh, just really excel in a lot of Blood Bowl games and I think a big part of that is just his attitude towards Blood Bowl he's one of the few people that plays this much Blood Bowl that can just kind of enjoy the game and uh, stay cool, stay calm, and uh, you know, keep carrying on. That's what you Brits like to say, right? Yeah. And uh, but on the other side of the pitch, you've got Kafo, who uh, you know he's a pretty cool he's a pretty cool cat when he's playing Blood Bowl too, and he has uh, probably more experience and more um, more respect in terms of the uh, the best coaches in the world conversation that people love to have. Uh, throughout digital and tabletop blood bowl, so this is a real meeting of uh, meeting of the minds, uh, if you, if you ask me. Yes, meeting of the dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and uh, there you go. That wrestle witch having to settle for just uh, dragging down the wrestle the rackler there. Yeah. But that's kind of cool, isn't it, to hit the wrestler with your own wrestler so that you're not losing as much if you get the both down. It's always kind of annoying to hit with a blocker and then. Might you know for your block guy to hit a wrestler, <laughs> you roll a ball down, your block guy's taken down. At least yeah. it's a, a wrestler of his own, and she's got jump up. So Rick's got to yes, be careful of glorious. getting surfed this turn. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious, and I will defend. Like and, uh, I will defend. Yeah, PC. Uh, Kfo did. He lost his first game in overtime. That was a. Uh, we watched that game. That was a butt clencher. And then he uh, went into the loser's bracket to face Kislev and did beat them 2-0 to get to this spot. And I think that sh is going to show the quality of his team against a uh, Kislev team. Kislev, uh, played by good or bad coaches, can really swing a game with some dice. So we got to see what Nuffle's got in store for Rick Reckless today, I think. This is a huge foul, isn't it? He's got to break AV on this foul, otherwise he's uh, getting a catcher served. I don't think he's taking it. Well, he's just getting a catcher surf there. Oh, he is. He is. I, I, I didn't see that player yet to activate. <laughs> he does break AV, does not remove. That's kind of a win-win there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> and no send-off. No send-off, too. Neither. Uh, no, Rick does have a bench. Rick has a bench of one, so he can't afford a few, uh, you know, a foul on a high-value target like that here and there. But he is, you know, predominantly, you know, a low armor team. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's the broader defenseless. That, that's why they tend to take so many, so much, so much damage. The kids, yeah. It's just them being defenseless and on the, on the uh, agility three. But he had to foul then, otherwise his, otherwise his catcher was getting served. And yet again, wrestle just dragging down, and that's uh, all of K Fog's blitzes thus far have been wrestles. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Flicky Fly. I'm not being, I wasn't being toxic. Come on. <laughs> People will say that I was. <laughs> but you don't need to be one of them. Don't feed the trolls, please. Nah, I'm joking. I don't care. Oh, yeah, PC. I don't know. I assume, I assume since Davo's probably streaming that game tomorrow. He's the one covering it, but my fingers and toes are going to be crossed when I go to bed tonight, uh, hoping hoping to wake up at 6 fucking a.m. to get to call that game because I really want to watch that one. Yeah, congrats, PC. Or I think I had you down to win it, did I, in my, in my predictions? I don't know. One PC, two Shawnee. That's fallen by the way. So no, hasn't he? He's done it. Dio's fallen by the way. So I know. Big Kevin number four. <laughs> what happened there? Double Dude, skulls. The dub dub skulls. Rerolled oh, quad them. skulls. Oh, he quad them. Oh my god. Oh, and he's getting wow. served. Now he's getting he served this turn. The by chat surf. there, and yeah. Yeah, the delayed <laughs> surf for the catcher. <laughs> Maybe I not. Didn't, I don't even know who that block was on or from, so I can't can't say if Rick should have done safer moves first. But disaster scenario there. Yeah, that's actually pretty bad that he that he, his character was there. He probably should have moved the guard at first, so that he would have had the uh, witch elf blitz. Because now he's yeah he's got to bring the sidestepper in to cover. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the bolt, the the cage is safe, but he's not making any progress, is he? And uh, it's just up to PTK, like when and how hard, when and how hard he wants to turn the screw at the moment, isn't it? It's, uh, it's looking pretty grim for Rick. Makes the one in nine, three dice as well. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Gets the surf, no Kaz though, so he's just off the pitch for the drive. But this is super strong from from K Fog, isn't it? Rick can't advance, he can he can go up the side but he can't get forward as well. If he changes the side, which he probably But he he, he does have a fair few hits on offer. He doesn't have to rush it here. So um, you know, again that's you know we got two teams without any kill skills. <laughs> yeah. Uh, every hit counts. Wow. Ooh. That was wild by Rick. I mean, he's got the rerolls. You know, sure, he's got the rerolls. Yeah. But that, was, that was pretty wild. Have you heard from Rick about his strategy with this team at all? Is that carrying the four or five, I guess he had a free one, the four rerolls in just uh, so I don't have to worry as much in a. Uh, in a one minute format and then most of these games seem to go to ot and kicks anyway yeah i think it's the overtime has got to be a massive yeah. consideration isn't it like you always want a bunch of rerolls with kids live anyway because they you know they can leap not so much when you've got a bunch of wrestle already i guess but you know the dodge and the wrestle makes the makes the need for rerolls less but i guess i guess the four i guess you would know you'd still want three rerolls right and then the overtime you go four that's, yeah that's fair enough but still, you're sacrificing a lot to get that. Uh... No, actually, no. Well, the fact that you could not stick skills in the blitzes, left, yeah. not having blitzes is pretty shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, like, you could have had a block mighty blow blitz or something, couldn't they? Which would have been nice. I mean, hell, having a diving tackler on the board right now would be pretty nice for him. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, blood, Fish. block Sorry. stand firm, anything, like, <laughs> anything against elves, the, the, the diving tackle would be. Would be nice, but I mean, his plan is to just leap in guards and leap in with wrestle and strip or wrestle and tackle and get Man. another guy surf. Why did he stand him up? I mean, he might not take the surf here, but because it's a it's a bit of an investment. It's like it, it is, but it's a rackler. Yeah, and it's only turn four. I think he will surf him. Yeah. No, he won't. <laughs> I think I would have done. <laughs> Personally, I think I would have. Because you can get back the turn after. I mean, I know Dark Elves aren't that fast, but you could get back the turn after it, wouldn't it be? Terrible, but. Yeah, no, you know, I, I agree. K Fog is always 
generally always playing ungry like his you know like K, K Fog is yeah. always But he is basing him up pretty hard here. Mm. He's got him in a tight spot. Another three D, loving that. Yeah. Gotta love seeing that. And now yeah. the blodge the blodge tackler on the ball, GG Rick. <laughs> he needs to have a guy here to like stop. Uh, he needs like nets, doesn't he? I think he should I think he's done this wrong. Here. I think he should have blocked with the guy who didn't block. And then move the other guy around you know to make like a screen so that he, he, he couldn't leap and then be free. I think slight not what not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, obviously, obviously, it's basically impossible for people who don't speak Danish to pronounce his name properly. I mean, you can pronounce it wrongly, obviously. <laughs> But, um, K is it Kefu? Kefu? It's like Kefu, like he just does an unpronounceable Ew. thing. It's like a like a G H L sound. I feel. <laughs> yeah, it's something. It's something. Ew. That, it's a something that without just, vowels. <laughs> yeah, it's just something that we basically can't do, isn't it? And like you know, it, there's a few languages like that, don't they? They have like they have sound. Like German has sounds, like you know, like milk and stuff in German, like milk. But like the way they pronounce it, we just don't, oh, yeah. we just don't yeah. learn how to make that sound as English people. <laughs> that, that's so, fair. So yeah. So although we can like although we can say something that sounds a bit like it, we just can't say it properly. And we learn to. <laughs> Icelandic has a few of those ones. That's pretty fucking weird. Where you're like, you'll see it, you'll yeah. hear someone pronounce it, and then you'll say, it, and they'll be like, no, that's not it, and you're like, wait, okay. <laughs> Why are you fucking with me? Or, or like... <laughs> Hello, NY. This is a hard. Oh. That's a hard name to say. Um, safely on Twitch. <laughs> I'll just call you NY. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially because it would sound like it sound. If I were to read that word out loud, now I'm not going to do it. No, don't. If I were to please, read that don't. word out loud, it it would sound like me with my mild Boston accent <laughs> saying the other word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it's pretty. I'd have to go really hard on the Y A. Long Island. <laughs> Niagara. Yeah, no, no, no. That's even that. Even that. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna call you Nia. Yeah, yeah. Nia, Nia, Jax. Nia. Nia Jax. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. It, yes, but again, for my accent specifically, that's about how I would say the other word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did feel. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Jilly. I thought there was potentially a huge hole in the middle. I, I did think he should he should have screened up there, but I mean, it's all worked out for him, hasn't it? And let's get back to the game. This is better than... <laughs> yeah, yeah, dangerous road we're on there. But I'm glad you pointed that out because I would have just casually said his name and then been like, oh, <laughs> this was designed. This was designed for Skuro's failure. <laughs> That's a trap. <laughs> Very good. Uh, so yeah, so that gets an extra hit there. That was good, wasn't it? He might make this 3D as well, use the witch. Has he made a blitz yet? No, so maybe he wants to blitz with the witch. Maybe he just wants to blitz the Rackler. I can block the Rackler and then blitz the Rackler or the other guy. So I think he does make this 3D with the witch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no worries, Naya. We caught it. We caught it ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. See, that's not so good, is it? Again, normally this is good because they, it stops them, but you need to mark them with two people so he can't just leap away forwards. So he does just two D. Yeah. I mean, it's fair enough, he's got block and tackle, so he's essentially defenseless. Um, so if he wants to stop him, he puts the blitzer out there. Hello, Marzen. Hello. Oh, so that blitz is blitzing. I don't think I like this. I don't think the sidestepper on the sideline is needed here at all. Um, I think I would be more concerned about showing up in the middle. But hey, look. 
I'm not one to criticise PT Kid. Did he run out of time there? I think he did. I think he wanted to move back. He has opened this. Yeah, I mean, Rick would have a long way to go. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem necessary at all, that sidestepper up there. Well, then he's going there anyway. <laughs> I guess he hasn't got much option to get forward anywhere else, right? So, maybe that was kind of... Yeah! <laughs> Dave Frog putting this shape in here to think, well, you can go that way, but you don't get anywhere. So, you, you know, maybe he's trying to tempt him into there, so that's why he kept him there. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Jilio. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, go through the middle is what I'd want to try and do still, you know. I'd still want to try and go through the middle somehow. I don't know, I just wouldn't want to play at Kislev ever. <laughs> that's that's what my answer would be. My answer would have be not taking a shitty him? race like Kislev. You haven't done a run with him yet, have you? I have not played a single game with Kislev in Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> that should be the final team you play in Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> the final Blood Bowl 2 stream should be a Kislev game. Yeah. Because then when you lose your first game, you'll be 0-0-1-1. <laughs> <laughs> it that, will, that will be the thing that finally sends you over the edge. <laughs> uh, Rick is in no hurry to advance the ball here. I think he's just trying to come out with this nil-nil now. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think so. Uh, now, the good thing, though, is, I mean, Kislev, you know, of course right now. Kis you know, Kislev with four re-rolls on defense is pretty scary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he can, yeah. if he's willing to cut loose. Now, now, Rick has shown a little bit of restraint based off of the half of a game that I watched of his previous to this. But, um, you know, if he's in a panic situation, he's got the, the re-rolls and he's got the, uh, the leaps in at all times. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Kislev are, are a nightmare to play against when you don't know how to play against them, aren't they, particularly? Um, yeah, that's very fair. Because I remember the first time I played against them on Fumble and I just got I just got battered all over by them, you know, like I hadn't, especially with crap teams like Nurgle and stuff and yes, Kenry. Uh, um like against kinda of like crappy bash teams you just they just fuck you up, don't they? <laughs> you know, like and obviously, I'm not saying Wolfpack isn't somebody who does not play against them, but particularly just like kind of crappy bash teams suffer against them. But um, yeah, I feel like he could have done with a I feel like he could have done with a blitzer for this kind of match to at least have something. More. Is uh, PTK showing enough respect for that uh, that lineman score threat right now? Um, yeah, I mean. He's got a leap and then double GFI and then like long bomb it to him. Um, and then he gets two turns back. So he doesn't need to shut him down this turn, does he? He needs to shut him down next turn. But for now, he, yeah. I think he's. Yeah, but I mean, he's got. But if Rick's feeling up against the wall, he can just. Like, he has an outlet right now. I guess not a great one. Yeah. But. That's a lot of dice roll. And if he, if he, uh, if he makes it, k just goes back and makes it one more, doesn't he? Yeah, that's true. That is true. What well, next turn he'll shut it down. Or he'll want to shut it down. Next turn. Yeah, Rick desperately needs more than one score threat after this turn. <laughs> Did he have five rerolls? Did he roster five rerolls? I thought he rostered uh, no, four I, I, and got next turn. I think I think he had four and he got a freebie on the kickoff. Mm. But I guess I don't remember now. If he rost, if he rost, if he's rostered five, then I completely agree with Wolfbark, and he should have had a blitz. Yeah, Rick is not not moving the earth uh, here to try and score. He's playing it very very safe, and uh, seeing maybe if he can get some some lucky dice right in the end here. We rostered five. Oh yeah, he should have had a blitz. Oh, we did roster five. Oh wow, fair yeah, enough. He should have definitely had a definitely should have had a blitz. Over there. In my opinion, which is worth approximately fuck all, but <laughs> the square root of fuck all, if you can't see them. Ah, sorry, the uh, the roosters don't, the links don't work here, but Blitz does. 
and uh, that's got all of the teams on there, hasn't it? Rick Reckless is kids love. Yeah, there's definitely a chance, Jaleel. It's, uh, you know, you can only put one of the two score threats down. The other can leap away and get, get a long bomb to it. Yeah, alright, I like that team a lot better with four rerolls and a, and a blitzer. I think three rolls you're gonna be three rerolls you're not gonna be you're really not gonna like overtime. But then I guess three rerolls you could have just, you know, really played to avoid overtime. Yeah, this And is... Rick will uh, have two rerolls to throw at his scoring attempt here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is looking like pretty decent odds for Rick to score here. Yeah. KFOG probably needs a scoring threat just in case it goes wrong. I think KFOG should have uh, dodged that guy. On, like, on, not even. Oh, move the, run, move the runner down or something. Because this, you know, he's got to have a scoring yeah, he's threat. Got he's got the edge for scoring threat. The problem is he doesn't have a, a midway transition person so it's gonna be the long pass yeah it's not gonna it's it's edge fall and it's it's not it's not a hard pass no it might even like it's gonna be like a four plus pass so it's fucking easy isn't it it's just easy it's just easy yeah. boys and like you know, I I don't know I don't know that you can really fault too much that Kefo has done either. It's just like this is kind of what we were talking about with the kiss love. Like they like you just simply cannot remove it. that. That is a nice uh, nice cast there, removing the apo from the game. I feel like he should have uh, tagged this guy differently. I oh, double one anyway. Right, so I think he should have tagged him differently that rather than just like as if he was a normal player um, to counter the leap more. But it hasn't What mattered. a heartbreaker on that one. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> it hasn't mattered, he just rolled an instant double one. Yeah, good thing he had those five re rolls. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna mute myself for a second some lunch just arrived for me. Okie dokie. Right. Can this guy get in? He can double JFI with his blitz array and then see if he can score with one of the linemen. I guess punch things first. <laughs> All right. Does he one day? Nah, then someone you help him in power. He could one day though, and then he could run in the end zone, and then he could dodge out pass, or he could just uh, dodge, pick up, dodge, hand off. I don't know. I don't know what's better. He could he could dodge round, then he could blitz and then run in the end zone. He's just going for the threes. He's just going for some rolling for some three pluses here. So Rick can't make one two plus with a reroll, and K Fog makes about four three pluses without a reroll. Oh yeah, he used the blitz. Yeah, sorry, I'm an idiot. So yeah, you just do it that way then. Well, you could have you could have done a one D. I guess you could have done a one D and then uh, handed it. Like you could have done one D first, looking for a power, but that's still a three plus, isn't it? So. Yeah, that's pretty horrible, isn't it? That's pretty gutting for Rick there. No reroll available. One, two, three, four, three pluses and two two pluses without a reroll. And now Rick is up shit creek without a paddle. After running a double one. And that was the thing, you know, I really wanted... See, like, you know, tagging those guys, I just didn't think that... Like, you know, uh, when KFOG tagged that guy, I didn't think he needed to. So he could have been not in a, not in a tackle zone. 
and then uh, you would have caught it on a two and not had to cheer fire. So I think that was the play because Rick was always going to go for the score. And that guy wasn't helping make the score harder. So he might as well have... Like, I think that was one time where it was like a scoring threat rather than a canoring threat. That was 13%. Well, nearly 14% without a reroll. That, that, the four threes and the two twos. But 37 if you'd had a reroll, like, and that's crazy, isn't it? That seems like something that, even if you have a reroll, you would think that would never work. Four three pluses and two two pluses. And that's 37% with a reroll. 14 without. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! <laughs> Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, you can do it in the thing, can't you? It was four balls. It was four threes. You can be my wingman any time. Oh, oh glorious. Mr. Page 404, thank you very much for the massive raid. We've got two of the heavyweights of the Blood Bowl streaming world in the biggest and best competition highest quality blood ball on the planet probably <laughs> yeah and to be honest k has uh, diced Rick a little bit um, <laughs> Rick double wand on his scoring attempt and then k just rolled all the dice in the world and, uh, <laughs> and counter scored so I think we're just going to see. And also, uh, KFOG actually has a counter to the to the insane sacking attempts, isn't it? He's in that he can dump off. So, I came back from the bathroom to see the one nothing. was like, oh, I don't even want to know how that happened. <laughs> it was, it was, you know, you know that guy who I said he shouldn't, he should have, he shouldn't have faced him because he should have been a scoring threat. And turns out he was a scoring threat, even though he was still based. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Rick's just going ham, isn't he? Every turn. Every turn just rolling all the dice every turn. Which is fair enough. That's how he's played the previous matches. And that's how he's gonna just continue to play it. It does make the uh the what's it called, dump off worse, but you know it could still happen. I mean, he's got six re-rolls and Kislev with Leap. He might as well. What else is he going to do this game? Yeah, no, I know. I'm not, it's not a criticism. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't dump off. <laughs> but, you know, it certainly worked for K-Fog on that turn here. <laughs> he's got the wrestle on him. Oh, that was a good dump off. <laughs> Ball gets the dump off exactly where he would have wanted it, but he doesn't catch it. Oh, it could have been safe pair of hands, couldn't it? The new, the new blood ball skill, safe pair of hands. <laughs> he could have used it to to directly put it into his hands there. And now he's got the sure hands to leap through and pick it up with a reroll. Maybe he's oh, is he going to throw it back into the cage? Sure, looks like he's just going to recover it and throw it back into the cage. I don't know, this tackler though is going to make it rough. Maybe you should dodge past this guy and then leap over the tackler. Yeah, so that was his plan. His plan was to look stupid dodging through when he could have left, but the plan was to leap over the tackler, wasn't it? Good job he's got six rerolls. <laughs> Yeah, it's cruel, dude. It's definitely better. Whoa! And this is a, a frenzy trap. And he gets lucky. <laughs> wow. That was lazy and uh, and sloppy from k Fog, wasn't it? That was, that was pretty... That was pretty like that was pretty good odds of, of getting frenzy trap there. That was a bit lazy. I 
Like obviously he was super unlucky with all double skulls in the first one, but he was he was pretty lucky that he didn't all push us into a skull reroll skull and then he would have just basically lost off that move. So that was yeah, that was real real bad from Okay Fog. I mean sloppy, it wasn't. It's not like he thought it was a good idea, was it? He was just like, whoops. <laughs> whoops, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> One of those players. <laughs> Ah, delightful lunch. All done now. Glorious. And now, but now with with Rick's plan of make the cage before passing it to him, which seemed completely unnecessary, <laughs> um, he's basically forfeited any kind of conventional defense. PTK going for his usual fouling one answer strap. <laughs> Rick can't make a roll to save his life right now. Nope. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> well. Oh, God. And again, saving was first, you know. He's. He'd made this cage to pass to. There was no need. He could have passed it to him. And if he, if he makes the pass, he then makes the cage, right? There was no need to make the cage first. Um, and then obviously he could have moved some people around yeah. this turn and just didn't. And now he's going to have a super mega bun bunker on the other side of the field. Or he might just pass it to him and score. Yeah, he might just score, go up 2 nothing, call it a day. I mean, this is opening himself up to losing a double one, so I don't think he will. Think he'll just yeah, that's fair. that's fair. I think he'll protect with Super Mega. Yeah, Muppet, I mean, we that was the story of the game coming into it was if the dice go for the Kislev, it'll be exciting and interesting. The exact opposite has happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, that's the thing. I think, And I think, you know, this was... This, was this the is the game you expect to get in PTK versus Rick with these two teams, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> I, I still think it was the right decision. A few rolls here and there could have changed that. Yeah, and I still think it was the right decision for Rick to, to use this team and stuff. Yeah. A good shot. I mean, it's one nothing right now, but Rick had by far the better odds to score yeah. in the first half yeah. than PTK did. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely been hard done by on the dice, is Rick. And it wasn't even because they're a dicey team either, was it? That was like, you know, he didn't do anything crazy on offense. <laughs> yeah. it, like, you know, it's different on defense where he went for these leaps in and and everything. And, the, and he's gone for, you know, he, he, he's played the defense pretty wild. Or his offense wasn't wild. His offense just failed because of elves being asshole elves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the rules should be in that Discord at the bottom of those links, uh, Jellio. Yeah, I would have. I would have rated your chances a lot higher if you'd had undead Wolfbar. But uh, my brief look at the at the teams had uh, had the Camry losing. Well, can we not? Considered. I mean, maybe he could have got a better draw for for Kenny, I guess. Oh, I think I think if you scroll up in the announcements tab, Jellio, they should be up there. There might even be. I thought there was a rules channel though, but I'm not looking at it currently. There is a link to the rules. The the links to the rules could have been in there. The, the links to the rules are in my uh, or on my YouTube videos of our casts. There is the uh, there was a link oh, to okay. the rules. So. And you can find all of Jimmy Fantastic's <laughs> Blitz Pit coverage at jimmyfantastic.com or go to YouTube and search Jimmy Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Gorilla. Hey, look, he yeah. made a three plus roll. He did. Now, can he uh, make the second half of it? He cannot. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Safe pair of hands. Not being as good as Sidestep there. <laughs> Oh, 
PTK could chain himself into range and surf a catcher <laughs> and score. <laughs> Well, that foul uh, pretty much covers that game. <laughs> I know it's will do, but it was still worse, wasn't it? Ah, oh, maybe not, I guess, because because if you gave people the ability to choose, they could pick the wrong one. You know what I was saying, though. He didn't knock him over. Like it's only good if you if you like a skill that only works when you're ball carrier. When that's when this character happens to be carrying the ball, and if he gets knocked over, like it's fucking horrible, isn't it? What a horrible skill! Like I can see it being okay to have when you start with it. If you have it on a play you'd be taking anyway, starting with it would be all right to have. But God, oh God, I don't like this. Hmm. That was a 1 in 36 that he didn't have to make. He's really got a GFI to score. I'm sure he could have changed him too. Here's where the, uh, the Rick... The Rick Mystique, the, the Rick Steak could come into play in Blitz Pit history. He can pull out a 2 nothing run to tie it up and get to overtime. He's got four re-rolls. He can go for broke, and he might as fucking well. Yeah, he can. He can definitely score in two and then turn over in three. He absolutely can. Like, you know, he can yep. run, three, run three catches down the scoring threats. And then, and then two turn. Like it's, it's, it's literally impossible to stop because like scoring in two, yeah. really, realistically, and, uh, un there's no unfortunately, does not get the KO roll. So he is down a man. Dark elves have taken zero damage, but half of Rick's team is wrestlers, so that's not really, <laughs> <laughs> not really shocking. <laughs> Oh wow, it's a movie special on uh, on fucking Strictly. I don't I don't know what any of those words really mean in context. Oh, maybe just because Sean Connery's died, but it's, oh god, this is awesome! Uh, right, I'll see. Choose. All right, I don't know what movie you're watching, but okay, enjoy that. Did he seriously? I think he just left. Well, <laughs> we'll know if he doesn't move the camera. <laughs> But I think Jimmy Fantastic has left the commentary booth to watch Sean Connery movies on TV. Well, fair enough, folks. Uh, and if you don't know my name, my name is Skirmetso. Uh, one half of the greatest commentary team, more like 80% of the greatest commentary team in WWE 2K19 wrestling history. Uh, you should go over to my channel, Skirmetso. Someone link that and uh, give me a follow too, because uh, I might start streaming a little bit here and there. A dance competition. Si le joueur trébuchant du terrain, il fuira dans les tribunes. Et connaissant les fans de Blood Bowl, ce serait une très mauvaise idée pour lui. No, you don't. No, you don't. He adds nothing. He adds nothing, Kill. We all know it. So yeah, Rick's gonna press for the two turner and then try and turn him over in three. He's got a reroll per turn, so he certainly can pull this off. But uh, it would be legendary if you were able to do it. Oh god, that was awesome! <laughs> right, oh he's done a pass. Diving catch. Diving cast. Did nothing. <laughs> Did nothing, but it could have done. He could have passed it to him three squares instead of two. He could have done. Yeah. It just came up. I was like, oh, did that proc? I don't think that's the thing that needs to proc. And no, didn't, but it didn't matter. It essentially gives them, it gives them like budget nerves of steel. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yep. And it, it means you can, you can like quick pass it to them. It increases... It like increases the range band passing to them by one, doesn't it? It decreases the range band <laughs> by one. Fails the GFI, doesn't snake it again. I think this is shit by Rick, to be honest. Like, with all due respect, I think this is shit. 
think he should have just left over and had scoring threats. Because yeah, I feel like he could have he could have he could have caged up off the sideline with yeah. the, I mean he would have had to commit to leaps and the leaps have not treated him well this game. So I can understand being a little gun shy. Yeah. But uh But like if you've got three if you've got three scoring threats, he can't like, you know, PTK just can't cover them. And they just need they just need one leap. They each only need one leap and one dodge with dodge to get over. And then if you've got three, if you've got three, yeah. uh, three dudes that you can't you can't cover you. You just you just literally can't cover you. Um, <laughs> it's in his. It's literally in his name. I do idea. Yeah. Um, no, it's because I wanted to put the sound on because yeah, there's there's a you know dancing with the stars. It is in America, which is a much better name, by the way. Um. He's just going to dodge in, of course he is, because it's a surf. Like, he just and he's got it. Yeah, this, this and was, this he's got him. Yep. Yeah. Honestly. He even made the GFI that he was able to be surfed as well. You, yeah, I was going to say, he would have been better one square back. Yeah. Yeah, it was real like bad. Like, a lot better. I, I don't know if he shot the bed because of the pressure and stuff. Like, it is minute turns. It is for a grand, and it is blitz pit. Like, you know, people do oh. make some bad moves and stuff. But and I think... Look where the ball ends up. Yeah. Middle of the field. Yeah. It's all over but the crying at this point. It could could in theory get the ball and score, but I <laughs> yeah. asking a lot. Yeah, yeah but it's better for a three three is better than a four two, isn't it? Well, but I don't know, I assume it is. Is a three three better than a four two? Or are they the same? Yeah, I don't even know anything. Oh god, exposing my lack of blood ball ability here. Right, that's 74 or 44. And then... <laughs> yeah, yeah, 3-3 three, is better than a 4-2. So you can, you Makes can the use... Leap in. You can use One it to make a pass. Yeah, yeah. Gets the strip. There is a shot here. Follows, and uh, we didn't have a similar situation in which he caught the ball. He can score. He can score with his catcher here. He can leap. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. He can score here, Rick. Can he? Can he score without passing to the catcher? The catcher can. Yeah, make the it catcher over can just yeah. pick it up himself. Yeah. All right. Well, a lot of dice to go, but hey, K Fog scored off of less. <laughs> er, about the same. <laughs> well, more probably more. His his was more because he's got he's got uh oh he's gone he's gone the wrong way he's gonna pass yeah, to him yeah he's gonna pass to him he's gonna pass to him I think it's better to leap than dodge with dodge and then pick it up that was way better I think the passing is definitely worse Maybe he's so this other it, catcher yeah. I assume is gonna be getting the ball though oh, that's Rick. not undoable oh Rick. Fails the leap, re-rolls it, still going to have to make the pickup too. Got it? God, no, it doesn't get the pickup. And that's that's pretty much going to end a, a comeback here. And won't have enough time now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might still get the score, but he's, he's probably not going to yeah. make it 2-2. Too, too. He's probably not going to make it a Desmond. I get that reference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what that's what you know. In university in England, you get like you get them rated, and like you know one of them's a two two. I don't know if it's the same in in uh, in America, but uh, you know so so when you're in university, everyone everyone talk about Desmonds all the time. <laughs> in my day, I'm old. oh this is Grease Lightning! Holy shit! I have never heard of a two two rating. No. Oh, you're you're still watching the singing show. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right, Rick is holding on.
to hope here to get the ball in and have two turns to turn him over. But he doesn't have any players to do so with right now. And the stripper's gone, so uh, yeah, not great. Every elf just consolidating down on the ball here. Rick's going to have to basically go for a red die wrestle. Hope the ball pops somewhere useful. And get the score. And then the, you know, the easy task of uh, <laughs> the two turn turnover. Oh, he's putting the guard in. So I guess he's going to go for a, a 2D. Oh, God, that was so good. Right, sorry. <laughs> now, Rick is uh, Rick's Rick's got a two D on this uh, runner with the ball, but I thought the guy he was gonna hit him with was the one gonna score. Nah. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> he was canceling the assists, so the yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so he's got the two D wrestle blitz on the ball. Doesn't dump off. He gets him. Ball's gonna hit the floor. Not sure who's scoring with the ball. <laughs> He's just going to get a blitz and two turn defense. Two turn defenses. Oh, oh good. Wow. Nice That's dump it. off. Or awesome yeah. pair of hands. Whichever one you want. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. I, this is another reason why I don't like safe pair of hands. By the way, because. Because K Frogs had safe pair of hands anyway. <laughs> <For free. Yeah. laughs> yep. <laughs> oh dear. Now Rick doesn't need to concede because in theory he could still win the game. But <laughs> I don't yeah. think it's actually possible. Yeah. It's not real it's mathematically possible but not realistically possible. Yeah. I don't know how he'd pull off a reverse one turn on a blitz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. Oh I guess he wouldn't need to. He could just get a blitz. Yeah, yeah, he gets get the under blitz. The ball and, and then and score, score, yeah. Right. Craig Revel Horwood's getting booed for saying that somebody who was who was crap was crap. <laughs> a punt? Oh my god. Oh, it's not a punt. Okay, it's just a, it's just a pass to a guy who's going to score. Oh, wow. He's going to win at 3 nothing. See you later. Rick. Well, that is officially the game now because Rick cannot get the ball away from him. And uh, yeah, congratulations, K Fogue. Commiserations, Rick Reckless. Rough game. Kislev did not come in and do what we were all kind of hoping the Kislev would do to spice this one up. Yeah. But them's the breaks with a team like that. And uh, well done by both coaches. Yeah, it's very unlucky for, for Rick, to be honest. But um, it's one of those things, isn't it? That's what we isn't it? At the end of the day. <laughs> At the end of the day, I don't think it would have really mattered what race he had here. They were, they were pretty awful dice, weren't they? All the, all the way through. And k Fogs were pretty godly, when he, especially when he got the counter TD. I mean, you know, not taking anything away from k Fog, he did play the defense well and that, didn't he? And he, he got to that point where... There was a passing play required to score, but it wasn't really that low odds for Rick to score on the passing play, and then he failed, and then all of a sudden, you know, K Fog's got lucky and it's all over. I assume they're chatting right now because, I mean, K Fog doesn't even need to score here. He probably shouldn't, just to end the game quicker. Yeah, he's going to do it anyway. Yeah, that's right. Really <laughs> a dick move. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really a dick move, yeah. but. Uh... Yeah, it's technically a dick move, but you can forgive him because you just do it like automatically, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, can the safe pair of hands only go to an unoccupied? Oh, it's terrible! Oh, it's really terrible then! Oh god, safe pair of hands is the worst skill ever! <laughs> That's the safe pair of hands is absolute garbage! Holy <laughs> shit! 
je serais presque tenté d'aller donner un coup de main, Jib. Je vaut bien trois joueurs wow. à Wow. I do look forward to the stream, and it will happen, Jim. I do look forward to the stream in Blood Bowl 3 that you lose a game to a fumble Ruski play. It will happen. It will happen once, once ever, and it will be clipped ad nauseum. Oh, I mean, it could easily happen against against uh, halflings. So, like, but a non-halfling, you've got to qualify it with non-halfling fumble Ruski. Okay, fair enough. Um, because I, I. I think it's going to be taken and decent on, on half yeah. Well, that sure was an evisceration. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it was pretty harsh on Rick. It was pretty pretty brutal dice, but I mean, you know, he's certainly certainly well played by K Fog, wasn't it? And so he he progresses to day two. Um, Absolutely glorious victor, uh, K Fog. Welcome aboard. Hello? Maybe not. <coughs> the snake yeah. into me making all the three pluses kind of ruined the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. killed it. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> that was brutal, because I mean, he still had pretty decent chances to score, didn't he? Um, yeah, that's the problem with Kislev, like, because of all the, the catchers with AT4, if you cannot get rid of the catchers, then yeah, you they just, just came coming. <laughs> yeah, you just can't defend against them, can you? Two plus leaps, two plus, you know, two plus. You can only force so. them to roll as many possible. You can only force them to roll as many dice as possible. That's yeah. as hard as possible. Yeah. Um, it's still a long pass from the middle somewhere, so it's still not a given. Yeah. Um, but he failed like the easiest part of it. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, the good thing for him, but the, the thing he failed was making the, my score less likely. Yeah. If if he had been failing the pass, then my touchdown have been pretty straightforward. Yeah. There's just been some two pluses, maybe a three plus pass. So yeah. and instead it got silly with three plusing, three plus, three plus, three plus. But I guess it's a blank line man, there was nothing to lose by not by trying. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It was a shot to nothing. Um, but, you know, like, that's the thing. I mean, I, you know, don't get me wrong, I thought you played well and everything, but it was a bit of a dicing for Rick, wasn't it? It was. Uh... Yeah, that was nothing. That was... He tried his best and um, he made the 5 plus sideline serve as well. You can discuss yeah. if he should give me that one. Yeah, he absolutely should not have done that. I think, I think he <laughs> shut the bed there a bit. If he was going up the sideline, just one square back, so you couldn't have surfed him on a on a five plus or whatever. Yeah, would have been that much. It's basically better. because there was nothing else. because of the two catchers just blitzing the front catcher against Kislev doesn't do any shit anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I would have just got. I would have, if I was him, I'd have just had three receivers down the field, and then you just can't defend against them, can you? Yeah, like he kind of did first half. Yeah, like you just you just cannot defend against that. He, he he if he rolls the two pluses, he will score. And I think I think he just does that. You know, you know, he wants to score in two, doesn't he? To get the maybe to get the blitz on, maybe the defensive turnover, whatever. So I just think yeah. the way to do it, like it's no way to play a proper drive. Um, yeah. But I think I think if you if they if Kislev are just trying to two turn, it's basically impossible because they send they literally just send on the three three threats. You can't cover them all, and they, they will roll some twos and they will score. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> even just two threats is a is Yeah, a even two, enough. yeah, yeah, because it doesn't matter how much is around him, he'll just leap away. Like with two though, you could maybe have like a net around him to stop him leaping. Yeah, and, yeah and I did stuff. have eleven nils. It did help a lot. Yes, but three Ten there's shot. really no way. There's nothing you there's no way you can do it against yeah, three. Don't think. No, then you need to try to pressure the ball instead. <laughs> yeah, so just brutal. Uh, yeah, so I think I think the sideline cage in itself was wrong, but then I, and not only did he make the GFI, he used the reroll on the GFI as well, and it's like, that just gets you surfed. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. But he needed to do the GFI because otherwise the surf has been one dice into two dice surf instead. Yeah. He needed to get one square forward because the other placement was terrible. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, okay then. If he stayed where he stayed, then um, I put Magada over one dice, a guy in behind him, and then I can blitz from the front and just push him out that way. Oh god, oh well, oh well, never mind. <laughs> um, so staying there was even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fair enough then. I, I wasn't paying that much attention. I'll be honest, I was more interested in Strictly Come He was watching a singing show for half the match. A dancing show, a dancing show. Oh, but, they, but, they, but they have music on, so I had to mute while it was on <laughs> because I wanted to have the music on as well. Um, <laughs> right.
<laughs> but oh, it's Yak versus K Fog tomorrow. But yeah, yeah well, well played, K Fog. You know, you still did the right things, didn't you? Apart from apart from that horrible brain fart with the witch elf. <laughs> yeah, it was a misclick. I was I thought I had marked the blitzer up to the right for the witch elf. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was... <laughs> it looks like uh, Johnny has um, fallen, I was, Johnny has fallen to food uh, I was trying to eat my dinner at that time. Um, <laughs> And Martin was uh, writing to me in Discord, so I got a little bit distracted, and then I managed to click the wrong player. Oh dear! But at least, at least the Richard has a skill, so the one dice is then just the two plus. Yes, <laughs> um, but it was a bit awkward when I realized it was the Richard. Yeah, and you do, and you draw the double skulls as well, but still. <laughs> yeah, that the bubbles, really the bubbles, 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 the problem. Actually, I was planning to just score that turn. I just wanted to lob it to my cat, to the lineman, and run down in the corner. <laughs> because he couldn't reach me if I run all the way down to the left corner. Yeah. He could tag me, but he couldn't reach me. Otherwise. <laughs> so no. the plan was actually just lob it and run. <laughs> um, but then the double skull, and then my brain fell, and the misclicking stuff. But yeah, Yak is a rematch. We played first round of the qualifier. Yeah, yeah. You better hope Yak doesn't get dice like that again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hopefully he's uh, going to. If he does, I will. Uh, I will be happy if he gives me the same chances. Even, <laughs> even with that, I'm not sure he's going to do that again if he just kills all my players. Yeah, I think it was, it was something like seven cars and three KOs or something, wasn't it? By the end of the match, it was pretty, pretty brutal. Yeah, I had two elves left. One that I tried to pick up and hand off to the other one by the end of the game, and I think I KO'd that one. The one that I was, I think that ended when he scored with one else left. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So I think it's a powerful team. I think Yak's team is powerful, but it's again, it's like high rolly, isn't it? So like, it's the eleven it, men, it's it's susceptible to removals itself. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's when it's got eleven men on the field, it looks a, it looks a pretty nice team, I think. Yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 good. I didn't mind it. Um, I, I like his bolt. Um, I hopefully it take out is a little bit no, more normal. So we actually get a game out of it. Besides, if Jack decides to give it, a, make it up a game out of nowhere yeah. by misclick handoffing and all that silly stuff. <laughs> oh, who else is? Who else is on? So we've got Andy Davo versus Purple Chest, Brucey versus Rayco. Yeah, we're just waiting on the results of Colian versus Larkstar. To round out the bottom bracket, there they will face a uh, few fillet. Uh, well, I'd better I'd better wrap up the YouTube video. So, congrats again, PTK. Um, thank you very much, Skurometso. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>